Thanks, Dave, for sitting down and chatting with us. Two babies, very different Mother's Day to last year. I reckon. I'm used to celebrating my mum, but this year it's extra special because it's my first. <laughs> now that I'm a mother myself and I've been pregnant and had newborns, you certainly appreciate what your own mum did. What's your perspective of life change? Football was such a big part of it now. These two are your biggest part of your life. <laughs> How has life changed? Where do I start? Well, I thought you had to be quite selfish um, in the way you prepare, so you map your day out with um, when you're going to go to the gym. But we've got a bit of a one thing per day rule at the moment because it's just a, a big job getting everyone organised and, and out of the door. You know, looking at the clock's pretty pointless because <laughs> they, they, don't, they can't tell the time yet. <laughs> a lot of people are, oh, are you getting any sleep? And all of the challenging things about having babies that they focus on, but there's so much joy amongst it as well. Did you ever think you'd ever be as tired as you were now? No. Especially during your athlete life? <laughs> I did not know tiredness until now. <laughs> I thought I did, but yeah, this is next level. But there must be something hormonal that makes you just be able to continue to function. It's probably called love. <laughs> having my midwifery background prepared me for how hard that was going to be and the, the workload that it was going to be. And I think without that it would have been pretty tricky, but um, it certainly doesn't prepare you for the, you know, the emotional side of things. I don't think anything can. <laughs> baby spot. Quick change of baby. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better than I thought I would. Um, and that's been part of the reason why I'm, you know, put my hand up to, to go again next season. Women have done amazing things after having babies. I certainly won't be the first to, you know, do something physically challenging. Yeah. Post babies, I think the real challenge is logistically, psychologically, emotionally, um, getting yourself prepared and organised. And it's a big commitment from the whole family, really. So my first priority is them, um, and I fit in what I can around that. And a mother, son, and mother, daughter recruit for Melbourne. Yeah, is that official? <laughs> or do we still need to do some work on that? <laughs> no, but you can trailblaze it. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? No pressure though. But they <laughs> no have pressure. to play footy. But I'd be happy to trailblaze getting the rule up and off the ground. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Daisy. I know very, very tricky, but appreciate your time. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks, Georgie. Thanks for uh, bearing with us. They say don't work with babies. <laughs> but no, thank you, and I look forward to getting back in game day. <laughs>